Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about optimizing your keywords in the back end of your Amazon Seller Central accounts. So I've got this product here that I'm look, uh, working on right now uh, and this is a balsamic vinegar and it's actually a uh, kosher balsamic vinegar from Italy. So anyhow, we're just going to look at what we have currently and how to work with it. So let me just start off by saying this uh, this client that I'm working for right now, they've already done some work but they want to optimize a little bit. So uh, I'm kind of walking into a situation where there's already been some work done and I'm going to show you a little bit about um, what to do here. So we're just going to focus on the keywords tab of your product. So this is when you're in Seller Central and you hit edit. If you already know how to get there, then you can get here. So if you absolutely have not been in Seller Central, go look at another video that I have. Um, but if you're already up to this point, then you're good to go. So we're looking at the keywords tab here. So there's all these, these different tabs. So click on the one that says keywords. And then here, We'll see, this is some work that I've actually just done. I've been putting in these search terms and these are, I'll show you how I got to those. Um, we're gonna kinda look at what's already happened here because a lot of people have questions about what some of these things mean. So we'll start, we'll skip, we'll skip the search terms. Um, we'll go straight to platinum keywords. So I just want to highlight this. You see when I hover over this eye and it says for platinum merchants only? Okay, so I have no idea what a platinum merchant is. And you probably won't be able to figure that out either. Amazon has something called a platinum merchant. This does have a use, or it did. But this is for maybe brands like, I don't know, Baby Gap something massive just think of a really big you know banana republic i don't know a really big name who's on amazon who somehow has this inside deal with amazon to be a platinum merchant so if you're not a platinum merchant then platinum keywords literally do nothing for you so in this back end just for the sake of not having them just having everything be clean i'm going to delete everything that's there like I just did. I don't think it hurts you to have anything in there, but it doesn't do anything to have keywords here whatsoever. Okay. So we're going to go down to this next tab. Subject matter. So for subject matter, here's basically all you have to know. Oop. Don't know what's going on there. I accidentally started my music. I'm going to take all these out of here just to show you. So in subject matter, if you go over this eye, it says, what is the project product's subject? What is the product about? Which is kind of a weird question to ask. But all you really need to know is that when you click in here, in this little box, then it will give you these options. Winter autumn, Father's Day, summer, spring, Mother's Day, or digital video recorders. I don't know why these are options. I assume that if you had uh, a product that was good for Father's Day or Mother's Day, then it would be good to pick that. Um, or if you had something like a scarf, that would be good for winter and autumn. Or if you had something that was like a swim toy, that would be good for summer. But for this item, which isn't specifically about any of these choices, then we will just leave that blank. We could pick something. It won't really hurt. I could pick summer and spring and Father's Day. And I don't assume that it would do anything wrong. Heck, I could pick Mother's Day too. But it, it, it's, it, I'm not really sure um, that this will help specifically as the product isn't attuned to that. Now, a little bit about what these fields are doing. They're, they're helping Amazon determine 
how to best promote your product and move it forward. So they're using this data to determine when would be the best time to show an ad for it or who to show it to, which we'll get to in a second. So I can I can use these choices or I could use none here. These aren't particularly what the product is about. As you saw before, I had some other things that were put in there that were just kind of guesses from whoever had put them in there before, but they don't have anything to actually give to this field. Amazon will read that data and then they won't do anything with it because it doesn't match any of these options that they have. If I put in here, um, you know, this is a kosher product. If I put in here kosher, Jewish, um, or something like that, that doesn't help because this, I could just as well put in that and Amazon will read it the same way. Huck, the 4R would read the same exact way as anything else other than these. So that's, that's kind of something to, to go for. Now here's another thing, other attributes. So this will, this when you hover over this, it gives you um, the message. What are the additional attributes of the product? So you'll start thinking, okay, what should I plug in here? So it's all natural, it has flavor, it has no preservatives, it has vitamins, and it's vegetarian. That's great. But when you go in here and look, once again, you'll see that you've got options here. This is block, buffalo, camel, continental, cow, cubes, dippers, extra mature, flavored, grated, hard, mature, medium, mild, sheep, sliced, or soft. I think this is just in this category. So you'll, you'll see something different here dependent on you know, what field you're in. I guess if you were in sports and outdoors, you'd have something different. Obviously, I don't think Buffalo would be. This is a grocery item, so I think this is other attributes for grocery items. Um, almost 100% sure on that. So anyhow, when you look in here, vitamins, it's not in this list, so that's not helping. Um, also, the format of this all-natural, nothing with a dash is in there. Um, flavor, we do have flavored. So we can put that in there. Um, but anyhow, and when I first started out at, in Amazon, I was just putting things in here. And I had you, you have no idea whether or not they're helping, but you hope that they are. You know, and you're just like, what are the other attributes? Well, I guess it's red and it's a large, it's a, you know, but that's not stuff that actually helps. It's It just kind of extra work that you're doing for um, I guess nothing potentially really so anyhow other attributes is really gonna get left um, to the side here we could put flavored in here um, but there isn't a specific flavor you know it's flavorful but there's not a specific flavor it's not like a raspberry balsamic vinegar it's just balsamic vinegar so Okay, now we're going to go down here and look at intended use. Now, this asks you, you know, for what activities, events, locations, or conditions is the product intended to be used? So you could say, well, you could use it for a lot of different stuff. You could take it to a picnic. You could use it on your salad. Um, but once again, what we're actually trying to get to is what's in these boxes here. So, intended use. This is pretty much, it kind of has a, a little bit a little bit of leeway. So what I like to put in here, this is obviously going to be used in the kitchen and also in the home. So as far as I've researched on this, very clear cut uh, inputs for this product, being that it is a grocery item, that it is a food item. So we can very clearly say that this is good for kitchen and home. Um, not so much maybe for entertainment or automobiles or travel or aircraft. <laughs> but um, and you can even go as far as to say it's good for indoor. 
um, that wouldn't be a problem either. And you could even say business gifts as well. Because you give somebody some olive oil as a business gift. I mean, this is a 12 pack stock gift for the whole year. It'll stock my house for the whole year anyway. So you could put all, all these would be acceptable inputs. The other ones would do little or nothing or just sort of, you know. Amazon kind of uses these as they as they, as they see fit. Um, so I can't, you know, guarantee that any specific result will come of putting these in here, which is a very confusing aspect of the keywords tab as, you know, you go, what what is really happening here? What does this matter? It matters, but it's not the easiest thing to track the results of it. I very much, you know, it's absolutely essential, but it is not something that I can I can show you specifically how it works. Now on the other hand, there's other keyword enhancements that you can do to your listing over here in the vital info in the description with the title. You can see the product name here. Kosher kosher organic Italian aged balsamic vinegar of Medina. 500 milliliters pack of 12. That's a great title. It hits all the points someone searches for organic balsamic vinegar someone searches for kosher balsamic vinegar balsamic vinegar aged vinegar any of those things will all hit in this product name and then also the description and the bullet points too we'll look at that later okay so now we're down here to our target audience so he says for whom is the product intended and you as a seller you say anyone this could be chefs people who serve gourmet food it could be for Gordon Ramsay it could be for his mom it could be for their cousins and their whole family it could be for anybody with money right but you have to once again check out your options so some of these things are kind of pretty straightforward professional audience is kind of like um, I would assume that that is pretty much more based toward like if you had like a professional, um, like I don't know, like a keyboard, a mouse, or or something like that, or even like um, like business cards or something like that. I don't know, something for professional people. Anyhow, um, the quick, you know, quick way to do this is unisex adult men and women are buying balsamic vinegar. Um, consumer audience that's kind of I, just anybody who's a consumer um, I'm not exactly sure exactly, you know how to describe that other than um, that and I can do men adults um, people all these terms are kind of vague but you can fill that up you know we don't have to put men there you can put women you can put um, seniors whatever you want to do you know the only thing I wouldn't put you know Children are probably not buying balsamic vinegar as are teens either, or instead of unisex children, just children. I don't know what the difference is here. That's one of the more confusing things in these selections here. So, um, there you go, there's that. So, going back up to what we originally skipped, so I've got this tool over here. Um, where I just typed in balsamic vinegar and I just looked up and saw some keywords that this uh, this tool found on Amazon that were associated so balsamic vinaigrette, uh, balsamic vinegar bottle, balsamic vinegar Italy so these search terms kind of bounce off of what's already in the title so like I have Italian in the title but then I have Italy in the search terms so like that way if someone's like Italian balsamic vinegar I can show up for that and then if I have balsamic vinegar made in Italy then I can show for that too now we'll get into kind of how you might potentially rank in another video but you have a you know a stronger chance of showing up for those search terms if you have the search terms in your back end here. 
Um, I have organic here. If you repeat a keyword, that's fine. I wouldn't, you know, repeat every single keyword that you have. I would try to do something different. Um, but I did repeat organic and kosher and balsamic vinegar. Um, bottle is different. You know, this is a bottle. It's actually a pack of 12 bottles, but it's bottled balsamic vinegar. So, anyhow, hopefully that will help people go and, and, and find this as a good choice for what they're searching for. And that's kind of how to go about plugging these in. Once again, platinum keywords, you want to put stuff in there. You think that they're like super keywords, but they're not super keywords. They're keywords that you will never, ever get to use. Um, if you're watching this video, you will probably never be a platinum merchant. And that doesn't mean that you're not good enough. It just means that you are not already Kroger. You know, I don't know. You'd have to, I don't know who gets to be a platinum merchant. Uh, I don't think there's a list out there. I think it's just a term that everyone kind of knows exists. I have no idea who's a platinum merchant and who isn't. I just know that they have to be absolute sharks in Amazon. They're massive companies. So, anyhow, that's how you fill that out. Um, leave any questions in the description of this video throw me a thumbs up subscribe um, like this video uh, thank you for watching I hope this helped you guys out and talk to you next time